men's short program. Born right here in Yarvin, 16-year-old Mikhail Salazarian. First Junior Grand Prix season, second event. He was 20th in Budapest. 43.79, his personal best. And he'll skate to human by Rory Charles. Just fitting in his final features. The last skater to skate a men's short program in the Junior Grand Prix Series before the final comes from Mikhail Salazarian, the skater from Yerevan in Yerevan. And skating the music human with the DNA part of his costume as well. Be oh, that's, there's better. the fans. There's, yeah. All, yeah, there's all the other skaters from the area cheering on. The club mm. mates and the colleagues, yeah. Let's take a look at some of the elements. Go ahead, Mark. Well, I was just thinking, he landed the triple axel at his first junior Grand Prix assignment. That less successful. It got the loots here, which he didn't get when he competed in Budapest, but the components are much better than his first junior Grand Prix of the year. And there's the triple flip. He doesn't have a lot of speed, so it has to just take it into a double toe loop. Needed to have a lot more flow coming out to have a shot at the triple toe. Here's the triple lutz. Let's take a look at the landing. And that <laughs> is in. They're just reviewing that now. We'll see if that's on the quarter. Mm. And there's the final portion of the change combinations been level three. And they're giving him the lutz. That's been cleared. Oh, well done. But interesting, I say that I felt the components were much stronger than the last time. I'm looking, I brought it up on my screen. Skating skills 5.0 dead. Presentation 4.57 at the last event. They are 100th of a point different, the exact same at this event. So that sends a really clear signal to Mikhail and his team. Skating skills are 5 out of 10. 
Yeah. Moving forward, more knee action, more yeah. run and right of the blade yeah. to push those high. Those skating skills so important. Those that's the core that needs to be done like an hour every day, but what yeah. kids don't want to do, right? No. <laughs> you know, like yeah, it's like it's like the scales on piano. Like, yeah. Oh, come on, I just want to play the tune, right? Let me add that triple axel. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Let me jump. Let's go. But I love the attention to detail, the costume for the music human. Mm -hmm. and he obviously has had some passion in his presentation. There's so much in the sport, you yeah. know, to pay attention to and to fall in love with and to also dislike. Yeah. Oh, I love the music. I love the costume, but I don't like the jumps. You yeah. know, or, or, or I love the jumps, but I don't like the spins. You yeah. Know? There's so much you have to do. There's always going to be a list of things like, eh, I don't really want to do it. <laughs> Another list of, though, I love to do that. Let me add it. Yeah. And but that's why he takes Europe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I wonder, you know, how much excitement Mikhail and his coaches and his family must have had knowing that he would be the Armenian skater in the Armenian Junior Grand Prix in yeah. 2023. It's pretty massive. cool. Massive. Pretty cool. And, you know, it's a relatively, I wouldn't say new sport here. They've had a lot of Armenian skaters over mm. the years. It's not as, uh, as well attended, perhaps, as some of the other sports. But beautiful rink here. Mm. Another rink across town. Haven't seen that one. And, um, and they have the second Junior Grand Prix. So trying to build the sport up here and its uh, visibility. And the spotlight of the International Skating Union in the world of skating, having their eyes on here. Yeah. It's great. Great thing to do, to continue the distribution of events, like we had Bangkok this year, first time. And second time here in Yarvin. And sometimes it's hard in, in countries that don't have a lot of skating facilities and whatnot, but it's worth it. You need to, you need to make the effort and if you wanted to expand the sport around the world. And, and uh, thus, the shout out to those that have put all of the effort yeah. into facilitating this event and giving Mikhail Salazari and this experience because he's a 16 year old who may not appreciate the enormity of it, but this is mega cool in your 16 year old life. It is. And all the people want to mention Zarkas. <laughs> all, yeah. the, all the energy. It takes people with leadership and desire and skill and all the people around those leaders to pull events off like this no matter where they are in the world. Well, they're taking a little bit of time. They're out of the seven elements. Um, five of them were under review. They've all been cleared up now, so they've been taken a look at. We do have an under rotation on the triple lutz and an under rotation, of course, on the triple axel, which, interesting. I thought it might be downgraded, but it's just under rotated. So that's good. Let's take a look at the score. His best is 43.79. That's the season's best. And that was with the clean triple axel. Yeah. And here, it's the season's best at 48.96. So that's good. Mm. And he may want to skate better. There may be things that he wants to pick on and improve for next time out. 